Our topic today is uh, permutations when objects are identical, and that's on pages 260 to 269 in your textbook. Our curriculum outcome is to demonstrate understanding of combinatorics, including the fundamental counting principle, permutations, and combinations. And our lesson objectives today, number one, to learn about the formula to use when you have objects that are identical. Uh, number two, to learn how to identify when you need to use the formula for identical objects. So over the past few days, we've been able to determine the number of arrangements when we had distinguishable objects. So things that we could um, tell one apart from the other, which are non-identical. So for example, how many ways can we arrange the letters in the word bike? Well, we learned that that would be four factorial because there's four letters. And that's the same thing as four times three times two, which we know, uh, I guess times one, but that doesn't change anything, which we know that to be 24. So a different question is how many ways can we arrange the letters in the word book? Now, although off the bat, it looks like it's the exact same thing. We've got four letters. We can't really determine which O is which. So if we said we one of your options was book, when we use the first O here and the second O there, then you could say the second arrangement is book where we use the second O first and then the first O second. But those aren't different arrangements at all because they say the exact same thing. So this is what we're talking about when we have identical objects. So identical objects, like the two O's in book, mean that we have to use a different formula. And the formula we're going to use is this one here. So n factorial divided by r factorial, s factorial, t factorial. So n is your total number of objects. And r, s, and t are um, things that are repeated and then how many times they're repeated. So how many times an object is repeated. So if we're talking about the word book here, we start off with four factorial, then we divide by two factorial because we have two O's. So instead of being four times three times two times one, it's four times three times two times one divided by two times one. Those things cancel out, you're left with 12. And so when we have identical objects, we need to use this formula. Here's our example. It says, how many ways can we rearrange the letters in the word Canada if there are no conditions on where the letters must be placed. The first letter is C and the first letter is A. So if we do part A, if there's no conditions where the letters must be placed, we know that there's six letters total, but there's three of them that happen to be A's. So we're gonna divide by three factorial. So six factorial divided by three factorial is a total of 120. Part B says the first letter is C. So if the first letter is C, that means we only have five letters to work with after that. So we only have five factorial. And three of those letters are still A's, so we divide by three factorial. And in the end, we get an answer of 20. And then part C, if the first letter is A, that means we know what the first letter is gonna be, that means there's still five letters left to place. But instead of dividing by three factorial, one A is already taken, so that means we're gonna just be dividing by two factorial. And that means we end up with a total of 60. So in summary, the formula to use when we have identical objects is n factorial over r factorial, s factorial, t factorial. Remembering that the n is your total number of objects and r, s, and t are um, things that are repeated and exactly how many times something is repeated. And your assignment is on pages 266 to 269. So good luck and we'll see you in class.